during the Holocaust, approximately 12 million people were murdered. Out of those 12 million were 6 million Jews. And out of those 6 million Jews were a million and a half innocent Jewish children. Also, with that star, you people could do anything you wanted to you. They could throw a rock at you, they could trip you, they could really hurt you, and you had no recourse. There's no place to go. You went to Nazi headquarters or you went to the police station, they would say, you're just a dirty Jew. You deserve it. So you, as a child, you could go to your parents and, and complain, but there's nothing else you could do. People always ask, so why did you wear it? You, everybody, you know, respected Jews, and why did, you, why did you put it on? You had to, because at that time, you didn't know who you could trust. You could have the friendliest neighbor, and that neighbor could have turned collaborator. So they would get equivalent of $25 as an incentive, and the Nazis could come for you and you had no idea what they could do to you. They could send you on an early transport, give you a good beating, throw you in jail. That insecurity of not knowing what was going to happen, people wore their stars. Because I finally grew up and realized that from hatred comes hatred. And that's actually how the Holocaust started, with that little word. Hatred against the groups that I mentioned in the beginning in Germany in 1933, very subtle, the propaganda machine of the Nazis instilled this hatred in a whole nation. It was like the German people were brainwashed. And I'm not talking about people that were uneducated. I'm talking about judges and doctors and lawyers and teachers. They were brainwashed. They knew what was happening. Maybe not to all extents, but they knew what was happening. You know, we always say that history repeats itself, but history doesn't repeat itself. People repeat 